Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 VC review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Ninja Gaiden, which we've never played it before. This one is actually a side scrolling beat up similar to Streets of Rage. It's nothing at all like the other Ninja Gaidens. It's why quite a few people, including myself to be fair, hated it at first. It's one of those though that I decided to give it a second chance because I never actually got to play this in co-op and well any style of uh, side-scrolling beat up like this really comes into its own when you play it on co-op so that's why I thought might as well give it a second chance so as you might notice the story at the start and when you eventually learn which button it is you can actually skip it if you want to from there you've got the arcade settings though the arcade settings on this game are possibly the worst of any arcade game you'll see why in about 10 seconds because you've got the settings here where you can change life you can change your controls you can change how many uh, health gauge and stuff like that you've got but the one thing that you can't change that really needs to be changed and this is why I show the TV like this I've had a lot of people saying why don't I use capture cards well this is why because now you can actually see just how small the screen is I've got pretty much about I'd say half my TV screen of black bar so you're only getting a tiny little screen there there's no buttons to change it, there's no way to change it in the settings and it's pretty much the one thing that I really don't understand why they've bothered to do that because honestly what's the point I'd hate to think that the screen is this size on a 14 inch TV like the screen shrinks down as well if you're playing on a still standard definition TV and that I'd like to at least think that this is the full screen size of a 14 inch TV or something because that's about how much you've got here on this 27 inch so it's pretty much the first thing that you're going to notice that you're going to hit. But from there though, you've actually got the game. And as I say, it's like a Streets of Rage style game. The whole point is you go left and right, kick the crap out of the enemies, you can collect uh, certain little power-ups and that, like health and extra time and stuff like that. But the main point is go left and right, kill the enemies, get the end of a level, fight a boss, and rinse and repeat for the six stages. There's not really much special about this one, but there are sections like this where you have to pretty much like grab onto the bars and that. And attack-wise, the game's very, very basic. You've basically got an attack button and that's simply it. You've got an attack button and a jump button. Uh, the grab button grabs onto the bars. It's not actually you grab onto the enemies or anything like that. But it basically means it's the type of thing that if you like the more advanced side-scrolling beat-em-ups, like, for example, Street of Rage again, then you're probably going to hear this one. Because, as I say, I wasn't a fan of it myself, wanted to try it in co-op, and I went from thinking it was terrible to thinking, well, it's playable. And just very quickly going back to the power-ups, there's also a Dragon Sword power-up you can get, which allows you to basically attack ten times with increased power and range. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, this is actually the first boss, so I'm just going to shut up and let you listen to some music while we hopefully kick the crap out of them. So that was a little bit of the music and also a bit of an almost Frogger style moment but um, there's not to be fair really much left to say about the game. Musically as you've just heard it's pretty naff and graphically for an arcade game it's well it's very basic I've seen much much better looking arcade games and I don't just mean the 3D ones with uber realism like for example Tekken 6 I mean other style of games like this I mean even Ninja Combat and stuff on the Neo Geo looks better than this I think but as I say, not really much left to see here, but the only thing I will mention is that, uh, just a little bit of tidbit trivia almost, is in case you were wondering who the ninjas were, because obviously the ninja in the Ninja Gaiden series is Ryu Hayabusa, there's no actual mention of the names on this, so I can only really assume that one of your players is Ryu and one of your players is Joey's father, 
at least I think Joe was his father, I can't remember if it was his father or his brother or... Anyway, there's no actual clarification saying who they are, so I'm just assuming that. So there we go then, that's been the review. I hope you've enjoyed it, or at least found it helpful. You might have noticed I didn't score the game. Well that's because it's a matter of personal opinion, and yours may very well differ from my own. I'm just here to show you a bit about the game. If you like it or not, well, that's up to you. If you don't like it, or you do like it, feel free to comment. Also, if I haven't answered any of your questions that you may have had, I might have forgot something, or it might just be something obscure. Again, feel free to comment. Ask, always willing to help out. Otherwise, if you don't like commenting on YouTube, head over to www.vc-forums.com where you can chat with me and a bunch of other lads who love the VC, the WiiWare and hell, even a lot of other systems. We cater to pretty much everything. You can just go there, have a chat about a game, ask about some games, etc. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.